We have some great news for athletes in green country this week and after a year off the Tulsa Federal Credit Union Tulsa run returns to the streets on Saturday. The nine mile run returns to its roots on Riverside Drive and that's where we find two news Oklahoma's Tony Russell tonight live to tell us what drivers and runners can expect this year. Tony. Well, Karen and Mike, this is 41st and Riverside, where actually runners are going to be really excited to turn around. Just want to let people know, let's just get right to it. The northbound traffic lanes, I'm told those will be open, but you'll start to see shutdown at 630 in the morning. You can see those orange cones down there. It's a good indicator that this section of Riverside Drive is going to see a closure. And don't forget, races start an hour early this year. For more than four decades, the Tulsa Run has been a household tradition for the Bomers. It's a very fast course because you went out fast and you just had to get back up the hill to downtown. So if you planned it right, ran three 5Ks the way you should, you had a good race. Bobby's done 15 of them. His wife, Judy, is a reigning champion for her age group. Uh, don't start out too fast, otherwise that hill going back up uh, Boulder will will get you and you may have to walk but you know at our age there may only be one two or three people in our age groups so all we have to do is show up this year she's taken it easy doing the three mile course a return to riverside is really what makes the tulsa run the tulsa run it's a faster course than they've had the last number of years not as many hills but they got to have understand that they have to work on riverside because it's long and it seems a little mind numbing because you're flat and you're curving around. And so it, if you don't stay on target with your pace, you can slow down. Race officials assuring everyone it's going to be a safe and fun return to Tulsa streets. It's been two years since we've been able to convene together and do this. You know, we did virtual last year, so we still had the event, but it's great to see everybody back in person and uh, really return to the streets and have a great 44th year of this event. But don't be like me and register last minute for a nine mile race. This needs to be a lifestyle uh, that you continue and you meet the most wonderful people that become your really good friends. I'm just hearing all of this race strategy come from coach Bobby Bomer because everyone in the running community knows Bobby and Judy and they're, they're running coaches at heart and in practice. Uh, and I'm going to attempt this nine miles tomorrow. Uh, come find me. You might have to pick me up off the course. If you're running the 5K, it's at 7 o'clock. And if you're doing the 15K, which is the nine mile run, the one that I'm stupidly doing, that's going to start at 8 o'clock. The course, though, everyone who's wondering when can I start my Saturday morning chores or use Riverside Drive, the course will start to be closed. It will be closed, and everyone can start Riverside Drive again around 11 o'clock at the latest. Reporting live in Tulsa tonight, Tony Russell, 2 News, Oklahoma.